So you want to learn how to code. You heard that it's an industry full of good paying jobs and that all you need to do is just to learn how to code and then apply for jobs. So if you've spent any time online looking for courses to learn how to code, you've probably come across CS50, Harvard's Introduction to Computer Science. It is a course that not only teaches you how to code, it also exposes you to multiple disciplines within computer science. So by the end of the course, not only will you have the knowledge to be able to make a full stack application, you'll also be able to use that knowledge to decide like which track you should pursue in the future. So the first thing that CS50 teaches you is software design. This is something that they actually teach on the very first lecture using a language called Scratch. Number of steps. By default, it's 10, but we'll do it more simply. There's just a lot of building blocks, but it is sit down and implement Oscar time, as I called it, all at once, I really did take baby steps, so to speak. And I figured out, well, how could I decompose this vision I had at the time to create this game ultimately? And how do I bite off maybe the easiest parts first? Software design is basically the art of defining the scope of a project and then executing and delivering that project. It is the art of structuring how all the individual parts of an application work together, coding that application, and then delivering that application to the end user. Software design is similar to the job of a senior developer at a startup, for example. A senior developer comes up with the big plan, the main components that the application needs, and then he divides that up with multiple junior developers, and they can now go and code up their specific part in the project. The second thing that CSFT teaches you is software development, and that is basically the day-to-day -day coding. So if you're working at a bigger company, there's a ton of features that they need to develop right now. So the senior developer will just give you, hey, work on these three features the, for the next two weeks. So now you would just be coding very specific things based on the requirements that your senior developer put for you. This includes all the coding skills that the course teaches you. So obviously understanding the languages, using the libraries, coming up with your own algorithms, using data structures. Although in this course, they only use a limited number of data structures. There are other follow-up courses that you can take that go deeper into this topic. It's a very important topic. And they also introduce you to using frameworks. So by the end of the course, you will be learning how to use Flask, which is a Python backend framework for making web applications. It is a fairly simple framework, but effective. They do offer a follow-up course that transitions into Django, which would be like a full-blown version of Flask with a bunch of additional features. CS50 also teaches you embedded programming. Embedded applications are basically like microcontrollers, anything that uses tiny little computers to control some type of input and output. Even though CS50 does not teach you any of the hardware side of embedded programming, they have a couple of lectures that are based on C. And C is par excellence, the most commonly used language specifically for embedded applications, applications that run very close to the hardware. And C is also very common in automation because because again, it's a type of code that's usually run directly almost on the hardware itself. Another thing that you're gonna learn in the course is Python. Now, Python is a massive language. They have a ton of libraries. They have a ton of functionality. CS50 even has a separate course that is only on Python. Another skill that CS50 teaches you is how to store your data in databases, how to access that data, how to manipulate that data. And they do that using a language called SQLite. Now, it is a bit of a watered down version of a database system when you compare it to things like PostgreSQL and MongoDB. However, it is a great way to learn the basics of data management. You could pull data from it using Python. You can write code over there to do some type of data analysis or manipulation. And you could even save data back into the database all through Python. And eventually when you get to the final weeks of the course and you start working on your application, you will be interacting with this database using Flask. Now, new for 2024 is a lecture on artificial intelligence. Now, I managed to see the pre-published version of this lecture, and it's just a summary, basically, of the topics that they go into on their separate AI course. I don't know what the assignment looks for that week, so I'm not sure how much hands-on experience you're going to get with AI, but I don't think it really matters because you can enroll for their separate artificial intelligence course.
course, and they do go into depth there, not only on artificial intelligence concepts, but they also heavily use Python's classes and object-oriented programming. So you're not only going to learn about artificial intelligence, but you're also going to get fairly proficient in object-oriented programming. Now, in order to tie all of these skills together, SysFT gives you a final assignment. In this final assignment, over there, you have to develop, code, and deliver your own full-stack web application. So you will be using the principles that you learned in software design to come up with the main idea. You're going to use Python as the back end of your application using Flask's framework and using SQL to store and manipulate your data. And then to deliver that experience to the user, you'll be using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which CS50 teaches you. Honestly, HTML and CSS, I don't consider that a programming language. That is just a way of formatting data for a user to view on a web page. JavaScript is definitely a very solid programming language. However, the course doesn't go deep into it. They basically just teach you some very basic functionality. If you wanted to go deeper into JavaScript, specifically how to use JavaScript to create applications using the single page paradigm then you can just go ahead and take their dedicated web development course over there they go deep into not just the python and the data manipulation and management but they also get into javascript in a fairly comprehensive way again none of these courses are teaching you everything you need to know per se in order to be super proficient in any single skill but they're giving you a solid background that you can then use to continue learning and to become proficient eventually and to eventually be able to get a job